My next guest has been in high-level meetings to talk about the future of replacing and repealing Obamacare and the impact on the pro-life movement. Joining us now is Luther Strange, Republican Senator of Alabama and a native of Birmingham who helped DWTN fight the HHS mandate requiring employers to provide contraception. Thank you, Senator, for joining us. Glad to be with you. Thank you for having me. Have you spoken with Leader McConnell since the fallout of the health care bill vote? And, and what's next? Well, I did have a chance to have breakfast with him this morning. And um, the next step is to vote on the bill that's been voted on in the past, as you know, repeal and replace, allowing time for a two-year transition period to find answers to the problems created by Obamacare, but repeal it right away with this time uh, gap. So. I think that's what we're headed for. Uh, we'll learn more later as this unfolds, but uh, we're at plan B now. Are you confident, Senator, that pro-life measures will be protected, particularly defunding Planned Parenthood and protecting the Hyde Amendment, preventing federal money from being used to perform abortions? Uh, I am. I'm certainly not supporting anything that doesn't take into account everything you just mentioned. In fact, I even voted against the last uh, omnibus spending bill when we were unable to get the uh, funding for Planned Parenthood taken out. So that's at the top of my agenda. Uh, and We have a very strong values coalition that will make that a top priority. You've introduced a bill, the Sanctity of Human Life Act, declaring that life begins at fertilization. What is your goal with this bill? Well, this bill is very near and dear to me. It's a, another important step in the pro-life movement. It allows uh, extends protection uh, 44 years after Roe v. Wade to uh, the unborn by uh, defining life beginning at fertilization. It, the, goal, the goal is to provide some constitutional protections under the 14th Amendment and ultimately allow the states uh, under the statute to do their own laws that would, uh, would move uh, protection in that direction. What kind of support are you getting from your colleagues on this? Uh, I'm getting great support from our uh, pro-life team, and now our challenge is to spread the word uh, and expand our, uh, our coalition. Uh, but I'm very encouraged by the support I've received, very encouraged. You've been defending life long before you came to the Senate. Tell us about other legislation you're working on to defend life. Well, I loved being an attorney general and, and uh, having the opportunity to sue uh, the, uh, the uh, HHS on the contraception mandate, other uh, issues. Uh, you know, of course, protection of women's health uh, issues, uh, uh, that was fun. Now in the Senate, I get to propose things that are positive, so conscience protection, physicians who have a moral objection to performing abortions, very critically important uh, piece of legislation. I'm very happy about that. Of course, the other protocols internationally where we stop the funding of abortions internationally, uh, that's another priority of mine. So. There are a number of things going on, and I, I would say the, the last thing that I'm very proud of is confirming conservative judges who believe in the rule of law and have a pro-life stance, because as you well know, a lot of these decisions will be decided in our federal courts, and I want to make sure we have people that understand the law and the importance of, of life. Absolutely. Senator Luther Strange of Alabama, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.